What is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrosides is here. We are back in the world of Fallout 4. And this woman just will not stop talking. She's just going to completely screw up my intro. That's her, that's her, what do you call it, uh, modus operandi or whatever. Uh, so anyways, we are back here on uh, the, the, the Pridwin. I'm going to call it the Pridewin. I don't give a shit. This is what I'm going to call it. You guys are going to just have to deal. Um, apparently I have a quest with this guy. Uh, Your thoughts? Call me old fashioned, but there's nothing better than being boots on the ground. Okay. All right. Nothing else I needed. Very well. So I thought I had to like do stuff with him, but apparently, surely to God, we have to do something. Tour of the duty. All right, so I have to go meet all these peeps. Uh, where might these peeps be to meet? Uh, apparently, there's one. Dr. Tegan, okay. Well, let's go to the command deck. We gotta get back in here. Sound like there's one hell of a gunfight going on downstairs. Jesus. Uh, okay, looks like everybody is, that we need to meet is apparently upstairs. So we'll go up there real quick. We apparently have a ton of quests. A ton of quests. There's no way this can be that long. It's an interior. Come on now. Come on now. Work with me here, buddy. Work with me here. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Let's chat. So, kitty. I still want the kitty. I, I still want the kitty cat. All right, Proctor Quinlan, what's up, dude? Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Do I look like I'm a book person? I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. You aren't who I was expecting. Would you mind telling me why you're here? Because you have a quest marker over your head. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. That would be me. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. That is completely not However, needed. I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Sounds Unfortunately, fun. I'm lacking the personnel needed. To get the job done. Okay. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. I'm getting flashbacks of the survival guide. Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts, anything containing useful technical data. I'm okay. authorized to pay you for any bundle of documents that you recover. I like that. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Okay, so basically, whoa, how am I looking at the seat? Whoa, we're like not even, we're like, nah. okay, that was weird. All right. So basically we talk to him and we'll get a bunch of side quests, it sounds Dad, like. You finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Dude, you keep your fingers away from my ass, bro. This, no, no. Sure, why not? Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical related questions and I'd like you to answer me to the best of Oh, this is going to be fun. First question. As a child... Were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Uh... My father said I used to sit way too close to the television. The television? <laughs> Wait a second. Let me check my notes here. Oh my god, he's taking it seriously. Yep. You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. No, no problem. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Uh, is stupidity communicable? I hope that you're kidding. Not at all. I'm quite serious, actually. Everybody However, has diseases. I'll just assume that your answer to that one is a no. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Oh dear Have God. you ever had sexual relations <laughs> with any species considered Oh my god. Uh that happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many wastelanders answer yes. Oh my god. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Those poor mole rats Since you haven't spent too much time in the wasteland. I'll assume your answer is you're assuming a lot of no's. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? How can you be formerly human? Nope. 
No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Okay. Excellent. Bunch of crazy Gestapo folks. I, I, need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. All right, thanks. I guess. Assistance, you let me know. No, we're good. You keep your weird, creepy, crawly hands away from me, you psychopath. These guys are not particularly friendly, it doesn't seem. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. If you can't fix it. I can fix it. You were the one who decided to kick your way if you run into any simps. Shoot to Okay. Um, hello. Excuse me. You're missing armor. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. That'd be me. Uh, not what I was expecting. Yeah, no, I'm pretty damn good looking. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. It's my glorious anyway, hair, isn't it? you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. You better have a super suit for me. Armor's too tight in the crotch. Oh. Everyone's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire. You come see me. Okay. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell. I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. Hey, at least you're not bored. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, <laughs> I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work Wait, why are you out. stuck? You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Well, we can make out a little bit if you want. All right, forget that I asked. Appreciate it. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. You're damn right. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. No, I want a T-1000 suit. The left leg suit. actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. No, oh, I get to do my own work. Excuse me, I need to get back to work. So she doesn't have any legs? Like, for reals? Holy shit, she doesn't. Holy crap. That's some creepy shit. Totally not checking out your legs. Well, not in the way you're thinking, anyways. Proctor Teagan. Step up, bro. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. I hope not. That's a little creepy. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Teagan. Nice. The powers that be have me locked in here. So I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. That sucks. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Bet you want to get out of there. Wait, buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory yeah. that manufactured weapons and ammunition. That's fucked up. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Ooh. I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. He'll buy guns. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Yeah, damn straight. I like side quests. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. Yeah. It's a match made in heaven. Creepy. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... Interacting with the local farm. I don't like the sound of that. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. Something tells me he's going to tax the local farms. The meet and greet. We can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Okay. So I think that's just about everybody. Hey, awaiting your command. Let's just talk. Paladin. What's up? Uh, never mind. That was it. Not a problem. <laughs> Thanks for the level up, bro. What can I, I get for you today? Uh, well, let's talk. Uh, let's, let's do that. Let's hear a bit more about that extra work you mentioned. Hard to resist the lure of extra caps. You're damn right. As they say, can't win a war on an empty stomach. The food stores don't replenish themselves. Please tell me you mean buy. a portion of their harvest, and I need that food crated and ready to go. Oh my God! Team. Your mission will be to ensure full cooperation of the civilian farmers. Yeah. By any means necessary. That's fucked up. 
any means necessary? You're giving me carte blanche on this. You said it. Like they say, if you weren't with us, you're against us. That's fucked up. That? Sure, why not? I knew I could count on you. Here's the location. Convince the settlement to support the Brotherhood or take over the settlement by force. Okay. That's going to win some hearts and minds. Um, there's got to be an entrance in there, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, you don't mind if I pick this lock real quick, do you? I just want to let him go for a walk. He, he looks bored in there. And by him, I mean all of his awesome gear and equipment and weapons and other cool parts. Come on. Damn it. Oh yeah. Let's open it up. You're not mad at me, are you? Are you? Tegan, if you need a little extra persuasion to help with those farmers, I got plenty of tools here you could use. Interesting. All right, well, I'm going to go back cuz they said they were hostile, so I don't want to piss anybody off. Uh, we may come back here a little later. Uh, I'm assuming I can loot all this stuff because it's not giving me any like negative stuff here. It's not saying like warning, danger, Will Robinson, danger. Okay, so that one's not mine. This one is mine. So if I want this one, I can take it. Uh, it's kind of a badass looking suit, but I don't think we're going to be doing suits uh, for the moment. Uh, one other thing, uh, a lot of you guys, it, it's hilarious. I no matter what I do, I get yelled at. Um, but a lot of you guys previously. Uh, yelled at me for using my sniper rifle, which I think we've stored now that I think about it. Um, yeah, it's it's stored. Uh, the sniper rifle does less damage than the pistol does, but the pistol has a slower rate of fire. So it's almost equal. Uh, I was using the sniper rifle and people yelled at me and wanted me to switch to the pistol, and now I'm using the pistol and people are yelling at me and wanting to switch back to the sniper rifle. So... We'll see where we end up. You have I don't like the pistols much. Or looking to assist on a research patrol? Yeah, send me on a patrol. I've got time to assist on a patrol. That's the spirit. While our scribes are well trained, combat is not their specialty. Yeah, no shit. Your assigned scribe will meet you at the airport. There, she'll give you the research patrol location. Sounds Return good. With both scribe and data intact. And your mission is complete. I appreciate you at least taking the time to make eye contact with me like I was a human being. Dick bag. Um, do we have shit to sell? I just thought about that. I bet we do. A dangerous place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, what do we have here? Pipe revolver pistol. Okay. I'm tempted to... Uh, Alright, let's save. I don't want to like, piss anybody off, but I'm curious about some of this stuff. Uh, work orders. Uh, air conditioning unit has burned out. It's condensing coil for overuse. Need to remind the soldiers that they can't constantly run the damn thing 24 hours a day. Cooper condensing coils are tough to replace, so I had to make it do with a homemade version. Unit should last a while longer with moderate use. Okay. Uh, got called down to a lab area and their Mr. Handy was trying to cut through everything in sight, was almost ready to get some soldiers to shoot the thing before it hurt someone, but it tried to cut through the bulkhead and burned up its motor. Pulled the logic unit out and it looks like an old factory defect in the cultivation models. I've blown out the firmware and rewrote the instruction set to fix the issue, replace the motor, and put the unit back into service. Okay, that's kind of boring. Let's see what the internal mail has to say. Uh, after having a long discussion with both Lancer, Captain Kells, and Knight Captain Cade, I've decided to deny your, your request for field service. While I understand that you've modified your power armor frame to accommodate your injury, and Cade has personally given it the seal of approval, I don't feel it's worth risking your life. You, of all people, should appreciate the machines can break down. In your particular case, if your frame fails while you're in the field, it could place you and anyone in, with you in extreme danger. Please don't take this personally, Ingram. I can't afford to lose you, and my decision is final. I'm sorry. Well, that sucks, but she wants to get the fuck out of here. Uh, Cade, I'm guessing you've already read that Maxon is denying your field work request. I did everything I could to talk him out of it, but he just wasn't convinced. If there's anything you need, even if you just want to talk about it, my door's always open. I hate to bring this up now, but you really need to head down here and let me tweak your leg hydraulics. Last time you were here, you complained that the shock absorbers weren't doing their job dampening your impacts from walking. Well, I was able to tweak your numbers, and I'd like to take a look that with that... Oh, I'd like to take... Oh my god, I'd like to look them over with you, and after all, you're the expert when it comes to mechanical engineering. So there, now you have two excuses to visit me in the sickbay. I hope to see you in here soon. Okay, and then Tegan. 
Uh, I've got a little surprise for you. Remember how you told me about those sweets you love so much? You know, the ones that look like little colored discs. I thought that said dicks for a second. Well, Quinlan's last sweep and retreat uh, patrol just came in and they found a whole roll of them. If that doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. Now, how about heading over to my quarters this evening and we can split them together? Oh, wow. Don't worry, I'll be complete, gentlemen. I just hate seeing you storm all over the repair bay with that damn scowl on your face, and I think this will cheer you up. Wow, she's got a bunch of people moving in on her. Now that Captain Kells has transferred all of your materials down to the surface and the gantry construction has started, I think it's time we had to talk about the timeline of your new project. I'd like you to head up to the command deck as soon as possible so we can discuss the details. We have far too many resources tied up in the operation to allow anything to slip through the cracks. We have a war to win, Proctor, and I strongly believe that this ambitious project of yours will be our rallying cry. What is she building? Huh. He's fixed a few power armor mods and gave them to Tegan. You might want to check them out. All right, we'll take a look. What's up, Most buddy? Farmers won't be too happy about donating their crops. No shit. Watch your back out there. Yeah, you're gonna make me so popular out there, it's gonna be insane. Let me see what you have. Sure, I've got something that'll put a smile on. Oh you. man, I do not want to be the fucking Gestapo running around just taking people out. Um, all right, twenty-five. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm going to keep the cryo mine because now that we're using stuff, that could actually be beneficial. Uh, Nuka grenade I'll keep. Piper revolver pistol you can have. You can have both of those. Uh, I'm tempted to keep that, honestly, but it doesn't have any special effects, so we're going to go ahead and drop it. Obviously, we're keeping that. Wait. Oh, wow. I have two of them. Yeah, look at the damage difference between these two pistols. That's insane. In fact, this one even looks better. That blows my mind. Yeah, we'll get rid of you. You can. That's fine. Uh, anything in apparel that we want to get rid of? Yeah, you can have that. Uh, yeah. I think I'll let you keep that too. All right. Uh, and my aid stuff I'm keeping for now. All right, what do you got? Let's look at weapons. Bayoneted missile launcher. Yeah, that just sounds fucking retarded right there. It's like, yeah, we're going to give you this long-range weapon of mass destruction that shoots explosive projectiles. And in case you get into close combat and you decide, you know, fuck it, I'm just going to stick with the rocket launcher. We're going to put a giant knife on the end of it. Sounds great. Morons. Uh, get... Yeah. Ha, 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 I want... I want a lot. F Marksman's boosted fiery improved Atama what? I don't even know what it is. It, like it's so badass, like the name doesn't fit in the in the freaking thing. Uh, targeted excited automatic laser pistol. Ooh, Jesus! That's all he's got. All right, what else you got? Anything special? You got a bunch of like torsos and shit. Don't really care about any of that. Power armor frame. Nope, that's fine. You can keep all that stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Well, you have fun. We got one more person to visit. I don't know why he keeps telling me to talk to him. It's fucking annoying me. All right, we're gonna go upstairs, and if he still wants me to talk to him, I'm gonna ditch him, because I, I don't want him around. Now, just so you guys know, I know that Dogmate, um, I can get him, and he, what is it, my perk doesn't get reset with him. The reason I don't want him is because I keep having to shoot him, because he keeps getting in the damn way. So it's, it's nothing, you know, like, I just, I don't want the damn dog around. It's just, I don't want him, I don't want to deal with the, the, the blockages of my fire. That's all. I mean, I, if I'm shooting at something, I don't have to worry about, you know, I mean, like, what was it? First or second video, I ended up putting like a double barrel shotgun right in the back of the poor dog's head. And I have to listen to him whimper, which makes me feel bad. And then, you know, no, I think I'm just going to stick with my, my partnerless role. Okay. So, huh, is there, I thought I had to talk to somebody else, but I don't see anybody now. Okay, I'm assuming that's going to get me out of here. All right, can I tell you to stay? Hey, all right. Uh, talk? Pilot and Dennis, what's up? Uh, dismiss. I think it's time we split the team. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is a foolish decision, but it's yours to make. Thanks, Dennis. Come back alive, soldier. Will do. You fuck off. Uh, we'll send him to Sanctuary Hills. Yeah, that way he can back them up. Yeah, confirm travel. Okay, so with him at Sanctuary Hills and everybody else at Sanctuary Hills, uh, hopefully he can provide any kind of cover there. Now, okay, it still looks like he's got some kind of... That depends. 
How are you feeling? My power armor systems are within normal operating parameters. What the hell? So I'm as ready as I'll ever be. You just give the word, and we can begin our mission. <sighs> so I have to take it. Ready. Roger that. So I, I basically have to take this dick back, which I am really not happy with. Good God, what is going on down there? I mean, I'm hearing nothing but shots, but... Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I think they're just doing... Oh, it's like a firing range. That's all. There's nothing actually down there that they're fighting. It's just it's just a firing range. Okay. I was like, God dang, dude, what the hell? All right, folks. Uh, I guess that's a good stopping spot for this episode, considering it took us a little while to get off this damn boat. Uh, in the next episode, we'll continue on with our missions and side quests. Uh, hopefully you guys are liking this series. If you do, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.